What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, three-time junior middleweight world champion, who's the undisputed junior middleweight world champion, top five pound for pound best fighters in the world. I have him at number four best fighter pound for pound in the world. In Jamel Ironman Charlo, 35 wins, one loss, one draw. 19 wins by way of knockout, 32 years of age, five foot 11 and a half with a 73 and a half inch arm reach. Absolutely explodes uh, on his Instagram live in response to two fighters, right? Um, one that's his mandatory, and that's Australian superstar, junior middleweight title contender, Tim Zhu, the son of a legend, Costa Zhu. Tim Zhu, 22 wins, no losses, no draws, 16 wins by way of knockout, uh, 28 years of age, five foot eight and a half with a 72 inch arm each, is Jamel Charlo's mandatory. But Jamel Charlo and Tim Zhu, they was already scheduled to face off against one another in March. But Jamel Charlo, he suffered a broken right hand that had to see him pulled out the fight. Okay, so uh, he had to recover from the broken right hand. So Tim Zhu, he ended up fighting the man Jamel Charlo is very, very familiar with, and that's former WBC junior middleweight world champion, uh, superstar boxer, Tony the Tiger Harrison, okay? Uh, Tony Harrison gave Jamel Charlo his first loss, his first blemish on his resume, uh, but Jamel Charlo came back with a vengeance, and he knocked out Tony Harrison in a rematch, a year to the date to regain his WBC title. Okay, so Tim Zhu fought Tony Harrison in Australia and he got a ninth round TKO victory over Tony Harrison. And now Jamel Charlo is still not ready. His hand is still not recovering, he's still not ready. So Jamel Charlo uh, is still in rehab and he says as soon as his hand is better, he gonna knock out Tim Zhu. It's not on his level said there's levels to this like tony harrison told him there's still a stairway that you have to cat that you have to climb you know there's still levels right and so tim Zhu is now gonna have another fight to stay busy and he's gonna fight carlos ocampo and that fight is scheduled for june 18th okay in two weeks he's gonna fight carlos ocampo who is 35 wins two losses and no draws so <clears throat> with that said uh, Jamel Charlo, Tim Zhu is talking big. Carlos Ocampo, 35 wins, two losses, no draws, 23 wins by way of knockout. Uh, he is 27 years of age, five for 10 and a half with a 73 inch arm each. So his his uh, physical attributes match up to that of Jamel Charlo as, as far as his physical approach goes. Uh, and so I expect Tim Zhu to win that fight, but uh, he, he only lost that being uh, um, uh, uh, Carlos Ocampo to Sebastian Fundora and Errol Spence. Okay, those are the only two losses. Carlos Ocampo is a very, very uh, tough fighter, a very game fighter, and this is a good fight for Tim Zhu, right? Uh, and then Jamel Charlo, he explodes on undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO, World Boxing Organization, welterweight world champion who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford has a record of 39 wins, no losses, no draws, 30 big wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm each. So Terrence Crawford is going into a massive fight with Jamel Charles' close friend and a stable mate in undefeated unified three belt wba wbc ibf welterweight world champion superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be top two if not number one definitely top five pound for pound best fighters in the world in earl the true spence jr earl spence jr has a record of 28 wins no losses no draw uh 22 big wins by way of knockout he is uh 33 years of age five foot nine with a 72 inch arm each so they're gonna fight finally this is the highly anticipated, the biggest fight in boxing. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, they're gonna fight July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. So with that said, this is a mega, 
massive fight, okay? And uh, they share the same trainer, well-renowned two-time trainer, yeah, future Hall of Famer in, um, in uh, Derrick James. So they share the same trainer. Uh, they have, you know, uh, they've been close friends. They both came up, come up in Texas, very familiar with one another. And so, you know, uh, uh, Terrence Crawford stated that he and Jamel Charlo were, were, were cool. And then once the conversation began between Jamel Charlo and Terrence, uh, between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, Jamel Charlo switched on him and started talking about he going to get knocked out, so on and so forth. So Terrence Crawford said, this is your biggest cheerleader. I'm fighting him next. And he re reiterated that on Wallow and Gilly uh, show million dollars worth of game that he got to get it. He got to see him. Right. And so Jamel Charlo, he responded and he said, man, you <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. I'm going to let you hear it. But he he responded by saying Tim Zhu and and Terrence Crawford is getting knocked the blank out. Right. Both of y'all getting knocked the blank out. Uh, uh, and he said, I don't want to hear nothing about Terrence Crawford. Uh, and nothing about Tim Zhu. I'm the king in this division. I've been the king in this division, been dominating this division. You knew here, both of y'all, right? And both of y'all get knocked out. So listen to what he had to say. Crawford getting knocked the fuck out, I'm out. So y'all heard that, right? Uh, but he also goes in. Wow. There you go. Crawford getting knocked the fuck out, I'm out. So he says that Terrence Crawford is getting knocked out cold. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, and uh, uh, he's going to knock out Tim Zhu as well. Right. Uh, li listen, he says, I'm the king in this division. Popping, baby. I got to go get some trail burgers. You got to go try to, you know, what Tony Harrison told you, you, you know, you got this staircase over here. So you see, he said, Tony Harrison told you, you got this staircase over here that you got to climb. Uh, so he, and he said he goes on to say soon as my hand heals and my hand gets better I'm knocking Tim Zhu out right uh, I'm tired of this talk of Tim Zhu I'm tired of him talking uh, you ain't on my level I'm knocking Tim Zhu out uh, which I fully expect Jamel Charlo to knock out Tim Zhu uh, no disrespect no slight to Tim Zhu I don't think Jamel Charlo gets enough credit for his skill set and his talent Again, I have Jamel Charlo at number three, number four, pound for pound, best fighters in the world, right? I got Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, uh, and then I have J uh, Jamel Charlo, right? Um, I could put, you know, Tank Davis in there, Devin Haney in there, Shakur Stevenson in there. Uh, heavyweights don't belong on the list. Monster Inoue, Cool Boy Steph. There's a lot of fighters uh, you could place in, in, in on that top 10 pound for pound. Jamel Charlo tops the list. He's at number three. Uh, Tim Zhu is a very good fighter, very solid fighter, but he's very vanilla. You watch the fight with Tony Harrison, very predictable, very vanilla. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, um, Jamel Charlo has more tools in the toolbox. Uh, very versatile, very skilled. Uh, can be a pure boxer if he needs to be, can be a boxer puncher if he needs to be, uh, can be a counter puncher, can be the aggressor, uh, can fight off the back foot. He has all the tools in the toolbox. There is no difference between Jamel Charlo, Terrence Crawford, and Errol Spence. The only difference is their popularity is greater than Jamel Charlo's. And he took a loss to Tony Harrison, which was a questionable loss. It was a close fight and a questionable loss. Errol Spence might have had the same type of situation with Sean Porter had he not gotten a knockdown against Sean Porter in the 11th round. Had he not gotten a knockdown in the 11th round, this may have worked out the same way for Sean Porter as it did Tony Harrison. Who knows? It was a close fight, right? Uh, um, Terrence Crawford was in extremely close fights, but he gets the knockout. So Kell Brook and Errol Spence. Kell Brook might have gotten a victory if they went to the 12th round, but Errol Spence stopped him in the 11th round, broke his orbital bone, and got the knockout stoppage victory. 
So they was in close fights. Tony Harrison is arguably the best pure boxer in boxing at 154 at least. Extremely tall, extremely long, extremely high ring IQ, pure boxing skills, very good boxer. He's just chinny and runs out of stamina. So, and then he has the draw with uh, Brian Castano, which I thought he won the fight against Brian Castano, but it was a close fight. And then he came back and knocked out Brian Castano. Then he came back and knocked out Tony Harrison. So his close fights didn't, one went ended in a draw, one ended in a loss, but he rectified both of them, those, those, those blemishes on his resume. And so he's just, he's a bigger version of Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. He's just as skilled and talented. He's a bigger version of, of Javante Tang Davis. He just don't, he don't have the popularity because people don't fancy uh, uh, his his demeanor outside the sport. And then he's an identical twin with his brother who is just as good as he is. Well, I think he's actually better than Jamal Charlo, but that's hard to say. And Jamal Charles is an undefeated two division champion and the reigning WBC middleweight champion. So it's extremely hard for him to separate himself from Jamal Charlo. It's extremely hard for him to separate himself from Errol Spence, who's with the same trainer and Javante Tank Davis, but he's right there on the list. He's going to beat Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu is bland, vanilla. He's going to beat Tim Zhu. It's going to be a hard for a fight. Tim Zhu is going to be aggressive, going to press the fight, but Jamel Charlo can make adjustments. So I expect him to be victorious. And then he said that, you know, we're going to see moving forward. He also wanted Sebastian Fondaro, but he got brutally knocked out. So that went by the wayside. He actually absolutely cleaned out the division for sure. And that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.